Welcome to Park Bench Interviews, hosted by Randy Goodman, Harvey Callis Real Estate, your real estate professional. Get to know our community, our businesses, products, and services that will elevate your life. Please welcome your hostess, Randy Goodman. Hey, it's Randy Goodman here from Harvey Callis Real Estate, and I am here with the lovely Alka Sharma, who is the owner and founder of Alka's Total Fitness. So tell us a little bit about your business, and thank you for being here, Alka. Well, hi there, Randy. Uh, good morning. Thank you so much for being on your show. Uh, you know, it's quite the pleasure. And um, so... And as, as Alcatel Fitness, we are a boutique lifestyle fitness studio that caters for a wide variety of classes. And pretty much the vision behind it was that when I opened my studio was I wanted to have a place for women so that they could feel comfortable. So no matter their size, uh, is a, the studio is a non-judgmental zone so that we make you feel part of the community so that's when i opened the studio was primarily for that so that because i know my journey and you know when i first walked into the into a gym i it was daunting and there was all these fit body people and i thought oh my gosh you know i can't really fit in but then when you have your goals and a part of me said okay i wanted to walk out but then a part of me said wait a minute didn't you didn't you say you wanted to change your life around so I stuck to it. And so that's why when I opened the studio, I uh, was to make women pe be part of the community, to be welcomed uh, so that you don't have to, uh, you know, feel ashamed of, you know, your size, et cetera. So we make you uh, become comfortable. So, and then the class sizes are small. So it's always, it's almost like personal training, but with a fraction of a cost of a personal trainer. And then my clients, my trainers, I trained, so they take care of the client's needs. And, you know, also Randy, we customize the programs for individuals. So okay, in essence, that's how the studio was created for. Okay, perfect. So what did you do before and like what were the steps to actually getting to the point that you're at? So the steps, so what I'm doing, what I was doing then, I'm still with the company. So I'm a buyer for a fashion company, for a fashion house. Oh, and then I wanted to transition into fitness because that became my calling. And that was something I knew I had changed my life and I, when I took those steps to change my life physically and everything else, you know, just changed for me. So going through those steps to really find out so what, in essence, what needs to happen, Randy, is that when you have set a goal for yourself, so that is to lose those extra 10 pounds everything else in your life just kind of just falls into place and you'll find that life becomes really uh, a, a beautiful place because then you're, uh, you know, physically you've transformed and then mentally and spiritually and emotionally, when we are connected, we feel just amazing. So then the steps that I took was to like go into the gym, work out, and I, and I did. And it was exhausted. It was tiring at first, but when you know that there's a greater good out there and you want to, uh, you know, really change your life, well, then that's how it happens. And then through the course of that, uh, everything else began to change. And then one aspect of training, and as I was loving the training uh, and getting fit and, you know, I felt good, then another aspect of training came because I knew that there was a passion. And as women, we need to have a passion and a purpose for life and so my passion mm. was the world of latin ballroom dancing oh well, that's fun <laughs> okay so that's where yeah. you uh <laughs> so do you incorporate that into your current business uh we do we do have i mean we do have latin social classes at the happening at the studio yes Okay, uh, Monday nights. Yeah, that's yeah. fun. So tell us a little bit about the classes and what they entail. I know you're posting videos all the time. Uh, tell us a little bit about those classes and what people can expect. 
Absolutely. So we have a wide variety of classes ranging from yoga, uh, two kinds of yoga, restorative yoga, um, aerial yoga. That was a new class that came out last year. Um, that's a ton of fun. Yeah. <laughs> you should come and try. <laughs> For sure. And so we have restorative yoga, aerial yoga, Pilates, uh, TRX, and, you know, and then um, stand, power yoga. So three kinds of yoga we have. So and where are you located? In Thornhill, just north of Steeles. We're inside the Wald on Young condo building, okay. just on the corner of Young and Doncaster. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Young and Doncaster. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I like the variety of different classes that you have and that it's not, uh, you know, the typical uh, just go and do weights or treadmill or, you know, the typical things that people think of. It's something a little bit more fun and mm -hmm. interactive that they can do. So can you right. give us a story of uh, a client or two? You don't have to say their name, uh, but a story of their transformation having been through your programs. Absolutely. Yes. Um, so a client of mine, she, um, she started with us two years ago and you know, when she came in, when Sarah would come in, she was, um, you know, she was, she'd lacked energy. She hadn't exercised. She, um, she was pale when she first walked in. Wow. So what we did, we, made uh you know we have i mean i sit down with clients when they first come in i do like a 30 minute consultation and and then i prescribe okay which workouts would be best suited for your goals so then sarah when she first came in she you know she lacked energy she was she wasn't vibrant and she goes oh i'm tired all the time and then over the course of time, so after the initial consultation, then she started her coming for work as and she would come every single day, seven days a week. She was come. That's how dedicated wow. she is. Wow. <laughs> when you have a goal, Randy, uh, you it's up to you to meet those goals. And she would come every day. And so not, not three times a week, not four times a week. She came seven times, a, uh, seven days a week. So um, Sarah came and she lost inches off her waist she was getting toned and every time sarah walked in i would say oh my gosh you looked absolutely amazing and she felt it she looked it and you know what she would have a protein shake with her at the end of the class that is called dedication you know you bring a protein shake with you and you're coming all the time so she was an amazing client i mean i love my clients um uh, but she for her to reach her goals to how she was looking and feeling to then how she really transformed physically was absolutely fantastic to see that and you know it's a journey so fitness is a journey it's never a destination because once we reach one goal like say for example you want to get toned you want to get lean and just looking generally healthy then we have another goal maybe to run a marathon that requires another aspect of training that's a grueling training but yes, yes. You, you we should never stop because there's always something you want to strive and reach to. Absolutely. And I love that. And I love how you work with your clients. It's not just, okay, here's the realm, go do your thing, right? It's, yes. You know, yeah, let's see. What is your goal? What do you want to achieve? And you can actually help them achieve those goals. So I love exactly. that. Exactly. So we hold your hand. We literally, yeah. we hold your hand. And we literally are with you on your fitness journey because you um, you know, you're important to us and it's how we want to help you. So it's not that okay, we say, okay, now this is the prescription. Now just go and do it. No, we, um, me and my team work together with you to help you reach your goals. And, and also what I believe is also very important is being made part of a community because once clients are made to feel part of a community, that is huge. And, you know, so that's something that they were loving and they will come in because of that. I love that. I love that. Yeah. And I totally believe in the community feel. And here we are talking to the community. So yes, it's we awesome. are. Yes. <laughs> it just goes hand in hand, right? Um, yes. So, Alka, like, 
your business is, you know, in person and physical and doing, doing, doing. So how have you had to adjust or cope with what's going on with uh, COVID right now? Oh, wow. Okay. You know what, Randy, um, COVID-19, whether it's come at the right time or whether it's not, but I am more busier now than I have ever been. Wow. Yes, I've been, you know, like there are sometimes there are days I'm just running around with my head kind of like cut off, but I am loving the fact that it allows me, I'm more productive than when I was just going to the studio and doing the, uh, the normal things that we all do. Right. But now because I'm working in several different projects and then what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be doing coaching online. So I do have an online coaching program coming out soon okay, that cool. I can help clients. I can help people, um, you know, get to a place of real transformation and my proven steps that I have taken to change my life around both personally and as a successful entrepreneur. So okay, that's going to that. soon. Yeah. So what have you been doing the last month? Because your students haven't been, or sorry, your clients haven't been able to come to your actual place of business. So mm -hmm. um, what have you been doing to help them out while we've kind of been isolated? So what we've been doing is, that, I mean, I'm always keeping in touch with my clients. So whether that's by, you know, texting, you know, sending them messages, um, you know, email, send a blast email to keep in touch. So there's always, you know, there's some way that I've been keeping in touch with them. And they've been saying to me, oh my gosh, we really miss the studio. We really want to come back. Uh, and so, you know, I miss them too, so, but that's just a way that, you know, I sort of kept in touch. And on Sunday, we're going to be doing like, um, a, a group meditation via zoom. So okay, that's yeah. something the clients can sort of, you know, we can, another form that we can keep in touch with the right. clients. Right. Have you done any classes? I know they won't have the equipment that you have in your shop, but are there any classes that you've been doing or that you can do with your clients through Zoom or other online methods? Absolutely. Uh, I'm, on Saturday, I'm going to be doing Zumba with my instructor. So we're going to be doing that, uh, you know, Zumba for beginners. Uh, so she's going to go like step by step. Uh, of a beginner, you know, the moves, the rhythm and everything that needs, that's entailed. So that's going to be doing, I'm going to shoot that on Saturday. And for watching and you want to do it at home, well, it's going to be Zumba for beginners. And then that's going to happen like maybe every week we'll try and do that. Okay, cool. And how can people register for something like that? Yeah, so they can, I'm always on Instagram. They can touch base with me on Instagram or, you know, email me. But please share your email or your website. Okay, so Alka at alkastotalfitness.com. Uh, they can reach me there. And they can go to the website, alkastotalfitness.com. And I'm happy to answer any questions that they might have. Okay, awesome. Do you have any suggestions or tips for people while we're isolated and at home? Absolutely, I do. Yes. So what you can do right now is to always stay healthy. And healthy comes in the forms of nutrition, how you're nourishing and keeping your body healthy. What I like to do is to make freshly squeezed juice and that is combining all the citrus fruits so your oranges like uh, grapefruits limes lemons put them all together make a batch of freshly squeezed juice and that's going to boost your immune system it's going to keep you healthy fight off infection and you're just going to feel amazing and also do stay healthy by keeping uh, you know getting movement in if in your home you might have the treadmill the bike use that. If after dinner, please do not just sit in front of the TV because you're going to put on fat. And so it's the movement. So if whatever time you get, now that we all have time to exercise, I will recommend, uh, you know, taking the time in the morning. If you're an early riser, you want to do your workout first thing, like 7am, go do that. If not, uh, find the time during the day to just keep yourself fit and movement needs to come in. Absolutely.
thank you. And thank you for sharing with us. I love what you're doing and we'll definitely have the links for everybody everywhere. So on this page, so you guys can connect with Alka and find out a little bit more about the online as well as the in-person when we are allowed to do so. (laughs) So Thank you so much again, Alka, for being on. You're welcome. Thank you, Randy. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening to this interview hosted by Randy Goodman. We hope you will take action and connect with the incredible business people and leaders in our community. And remember, Randy is always here to answer any questions you have regarding your real estate needs. Be sure to register on the website and stay up to date on what's happening in your area at parkbench.com slash millpond.